Hi there, this is Donnie from CAD Microsystems, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to convert static AutoCAD blocks into Civil 3D Kogo Point objects. This is a challenge that many customers have approached us about when needing to incorporate data created from, say, a third-party design application into Civil 3D. Now, the challenge rests in the fact that if we come up here to Points under the Create Ground Data panel on the Home Ribbon tab, we have a couple of tools that look like they might work on the surface, but don't. The first of those is the Convert AutoCAD Points, and if I select the blocks in my drawing, since this command is expecting AutoCAD Points, not AutoCAD Blocks, it tells me that I have an invalid selection set since there were no AutoCAD Points here. The other tool that you might try in this endeavor is the replace soft desk point blocks. And once again, while this is expecting blocks, it's expecting a block created with soft desk, which was the predecessor to land desktop. And once again, it does not find any blocks created with that particular piece of software. So once again, this is a dead end for me. So how can I take these static AutoCAD blocks that I have and create civil 3D points out of them? Well, the first step to this process is to, once again, revisit the points tool under the Create Ground Data panel on the Home Ribbon tab. And from here, under Create Points Miscellaneous, I will choose Manual. What I'm going to do is just place a point somewhere in my drawing. I won't worry about a description, and just so we can see that this has an elevation, I'll put an arbitrary elevation like 100 in right here. So at this stage, I now have a point in my drawing, and just so we can see the elevation, let's change the label style applied to things here. We'll go ahead and choose elevation only. And sure enough, you can see I have a point in this drawing with an elevation of 100. So what I'd like to do now is actually come back up here to points, and I am going to create blocks from all of the points in this drawing, more specifically all of the Kogo points. So when I run this command, it's going to look for all of the points in this drawing, and it's going to place a block named point right on top of them. So all I have to do here is open up this dialog. I'll choose OK. And sure enough, you'll notice that on top of that Civil 3D point that I just placed, the Kogo point, I now have an AutoCAD block here as well. Now, the big thing you want to take note of is the name of this block. So if we look at the properties palette here, you can see the name of this block is just simply named point. So with this in mind, what I can now do is make this block or replace this block with the block that I just created. The way I will accomplish that is to actually jump over to the Express Tools ribbon tab. And we have a really helpful tool here under the Blocks panel called Replace Block. Launching this command, it will ask me to select the block to be replaced. If I know the name, I can enter it, or we can just go ahead and select it in the drawing here as well. I'll go ahead and select that block right there. And now the block that I'd like to replace things with. Once again, I took note of the name here, it was just named point, so I'll just go ahead and enter in point at the command line. When I press enter, it's going to ask me, do I want to purge the unreferenced items? Sure and it's going to scan the drawing and replace all of the blocks with that Kogo point block that I created using Civil 3D. Now, from here, what I can do is return to the Home tab under Create Ground Data. Under Points, the block that I just created is in effect a soft desk point block. So now I can use the Replace Soft Desk Point Blocks command and then select all of the points in my drawing like so. When I hit enter, it's gonna ask me how do I want to deal with point numbering for our demonstration here today. I'll just take the defaults and say okay. And just like that, you'll see that it has replaced all of those blocks with Civil 3D Kogo point objects. So there you have it, just a quick Civil 3D tips tip. Let us know in the comments below how this has helped you out or if there's other challenges that you're encountering with Civil 3D that we might be able to help you out with. Once again, for CAD Microsystems, I'm Donnie Gladfelter. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.